Our first stop here in Iloilo City is at the National Museum of the Philippines, right next to the Iloilo provincial capital. Now, would you believe me if I said this, that in fact that it used to be a provincial jail from 1911 until 2006? Interesting, right? In April 2018, this place was inaugurated as the National Museum Western Visayas. Now transformed, it stands as a symbol of renewal and preservation. Hi, Ma'am Mars. Hi, Ms. Vanessa. Welcome to National Museum of the Philippines, Ido Ido. Thank you so much for having me here. So can you tell me more about what this museum stands for, what's in it, and what visitors can expect, you know, when they come to this museum? Uh, I can show you around some of the galleries that are already open. Yes, I would love to see it. Yeah. So this is Gallery mm -hmm. 2, uh, the Otton Gold Death Mask, our National Cultural Treasure. So, Ma'am Mars, I hear that there are a lot of interesting things here in this gallery, but I piqued, it piqued my interest to learn more about the Gold Death Mask. Can you tell me more about that? Certainly. So, this is our Gold Death Mask. Uh, this was excavated from Oton. Oton, yes. okay. In year 1967. This Gold Death Mask is used to um, protect the dead body from the entry of evil spirit. I see. It's a very interesting tradition, especially here in Iloilo, with the rich history that we have. One of the highlights here is the exhibit on the Panay Bukidnon people, showcasing their vibrant culture and traditions. It's a wonderful reminder of the diversity and resilience of the Filipino spirit. So in this section, mm -hmm. we have different fibers used for making textiles. Mm -hmm. uh, we have abaca, cotton, uh, pineapple, and we have silk. Very intricate and I love how detailed everything is uh, of what I'm seeing here in Iloilo, that every piece of fabric is made very distinctly. It's really nice to see that even the most intricate of details and designs are also still worn by a lot of our people today. So I'm so glad that we're upholding the tradition of our fashion here, especially in Iloilo. I had a wonderful time visiting this museum. Art, after all, is a form of wellness, nurturing creativity and emotional expression. I am now here at the Iloilo Museum of Contemporary Art or fondly called as Ilomoka. It is the first museum in the Visayas region dedicated to modern and contemporary art, some of my favorite art pieces which you're going to see soon. Visitors can experience the latest contemporary art, featuring both local and international artists, thought-provoking installations, paintings, and sculptures. The collection that you're seeing on the uh, second floor right now is owned by only one person. His name is Sir Edwin Valencia. He's the art patron of Ilomoka. It's so extravagant, but yes. so intricate in detail at the same yes. time. No? And given that Iloilo is where the past also meets the present, yes. it directly aligns with how Ilongos want to portray themselves as culture and history bearers to the rest of the world. But because of our modernization mm. and how progressive we are as a city as well, I think that Ilo Moka is the perfect place to be yes. in terms of a museum as well. Sometimes the art of healing involves art itself as creativity can enhance mental and emotional well-being. Our Iloilo discovery continues here at the Santo Tomas de Villanueva Parish, also known as the Miagao Church. This is a Roman Catholic church located in Miagao, Iloilo, Philippines, and was declared as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1993. The structure was damaged several times during historical events such as the Spanish Revolution and the Second World War. Although it was rebuilt and restored several times, the present structure still bears great resemblance and homage to its original state since its establishment in 1731, showing off its iconic features such as its facade, bell tower, and sanctuary.
Another destination to add to your Iloilo bucket list is the Yusai Konsing Mansion, more popularly known as the Molo Mansion. Come on guys, let's go in! The Molo Mansion is one of the most exceptional historical homes in the Philippines. Built in 1926 by Doña Petra Lacson and Estanislao Yulo Yusai, it now stands as a tourist destination beloved for its high ceilings, neoclassical balustrades, and detailed carving. I invite you to explore all that Iloilo has to offer. From its historic sites to its bustling markets and scenic views, let the warmth of Ilongo hospitality make your visit truly one of a kind.